Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. Last time we got the fourth and final member of our team, Pooh, a ninja from Dalam in the Far East. So, I didn't have a chance to go over his stats too much, but as you can see, uh, you know, he's upgraded just a little bit there. And um, also he has no equipment. And that's good because you actually don't want to equip anything on him because if you do, it actually lowers his attack power and defense. So we're not going to do that for right now. Um, so what I want to do is there's a couple things I want to take care of. First, I want to go back to uh, Onet there, and I want to um, get a few items back for Jeff. I want to pick up some of his broken equipment there, and uh, I might drop off a couple things. We'll see. I also want to um, go to Saturn Valley, go up to Saturn Valley, and get healed up for free by the doctor there so that Ness can become unparalyzed. So I'm going to take care of those things. And then I will meet you... Well, I'll figure out where I'm going to meet you. I, actually, I'm going to meet you in front of Foreside because there's one thing I forgot to take care of there. So let me take care of this, and then I'll go to Foreside. Okay, I'm back here at Foreside. There's one thing I forgot to take care of um, while I was here. Uh, and... I figure I'll take care of this now real quick while I'm thinking of it, just to free up some room in my inventory. I could have taken care of this a little bit later, because we do have to come back to Foreside, but that's all right. I'll take care of it now while I'm thinking of it. And if you head to the bakery and head to the second floor of the bakery... Oh. <laughs> that's funny. Yes, yeah, so if you go up here and talk to this guy, and uh, let's see, I believe if you use the contact lens on him... Yes, the contact lens. There you go. Yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, great. <laughs> For just five years. Uh, that's great. And we get the pair of dirty socks. <laughs> yeah, so it's not a whole lot you can do with it, but it's there. Uh, what it actually does is if you use it on an enemy in battle, it solidifies them for a round. So, there you are. Okay, now I want to go pick up some equipment. Uh, let's see. In the first place I want to go to do that is I actually want to go to, uh, see. I want to go to Winters first. And uh, let's go ahead and use Teleport A to get there. Yeah, and you can kind of control the direction you're going there. All right. And from here, I want to go up to the shop. And again, I could have done this earlier, but I totally forgot to. And I actually need to withdraw some money. Now, to get all the equipment that I want... Ooh, perfect. I have enough. I want to, I want to get about $50,000 out. So I... <laughs> what ATM machine has $50,000 on hand to just give to you? And also, how's my, what's my dad holding out on me on? You know, it's kind of crazy. Okay, I want to get the non-stick frying pan. And I want to give that to Paula there. And I will equip it. Ooh, 20 uh, increase in attack power. That's good. Sure, and we'll sell that. And I think that is good. Okay, now what I want to do is now I want to head to Summers. But I don't have a whole lot of room to teleport. How am I going to get around this? Very simply, we're going to use our new power of teleport B. And then head back to Summers now. Yeah, teleport B, you just go in a little bit of a circle. So now you don't need as much room to teleport uh, from one area to the next. So that can be pretty helpful. All right. And now I want to head to the shop. And we want to purchase some equipment there. That's it. Da -da. And there it is. All right, very good. Okay, let's see. Now I want to go ahead and buy some new equipment here. Yes, sure I am. The Big League Bat. Now, you can actually get this... Oh, shoot. I need to transfer something. Uh, okay, you know what? I'll, uh, I'll do this real quick. Here, just a second. Uh, duh, let's give a... How about... Uh, let's give a brain food lunch to... Give that to Poo there. Okay, there we go. Let's try this again. Yeah, the Big League Bat. There we go. Now, you actually can um, buy this for cheaper in the next town, but I have a lot of... Um, enemies that I'll be dealing with, so I want to get it now. Okay, now I want to get a couple other things. Yeah, the lucky coin. Now, I believe this is one of the best coins we can get for right now, so let's go ahead and equip that. Yep. And 10 increase of defense, and yeah, we'll do that there. Yes, and let's see, what else do we want to buy? We want to get, let's see, another lucky coin, and we'll give that to, actually, you know what? I'm sorry. I want to do this first. Uh, let's do diamond bands first, yeah. Diamond bands are really good, and uh, they're really expensive, but yeah. Uh, you know, you can 
a really good increase in defense, and for a couple of our characters, it may even be the best band in the game for them. So, whoo-hoo, yeah, look at that increase in defense. I like it. Uh, and again, you don't want to buy anything for Pooh, because that will only decrease his stats. So, I'm going to clip it there. Yeah, I'm really beefing up here. I like it. Okay, now what do I want to get? Got a bat. Da, da, da. Yes, now I want to get a couple more lucky coins. Um, and again, I don't know how a coin. Yeah, not a huge B, not a huge increase in defense, but that's okay. And now we're going to get one more lucky coin. And we'll give that to Jeff. Yeah, look at that. I like it. Look at all that increase in defense. I love it. All right, and now our characters are ready to go. So now what I want to do is I want to go back to Saturn Valley, and I want to see if Jeff can repair some of these items um, that are there. So I'll take care of that, and I'll just keep resting up at the inn uh, there in Saturn Valley off screen, and then I'll let you know once I get the messages that I want uh, to get. Ah, there we go, the broken gadget. And we get a double beam. Yeah. Let's equip that and let's see uh, how that increases. Yeah, not too bad. All right, now I think there's one other one we can get. Ah, there we go. I thought I could fix the broken tube. Ooh, the hungry HP sucker. So that's an, actually a pretty useful item. Uh, we can use it to drain some HP and really recover uh, some of Jeff's power should he need it. So, all right, excellent. Now what I want to do is uh, let's head... Actually, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's go ahead and head back to uh, Summers there. Because now that we've got a, now that we've got Pooh on our team, we can take care of another special little thing. Whoa! All right, and now that we're here, you may notice that Pooh came with a tiny ruby. We're now going to put that to good use. Uh, let's go ahead and use the for sale sign and get rid of that beam there for, uh, for that Jeff had. Huh? But first I'm getting attacked by a taxi? What the crap? All right, well I guess even the taxis are going nuts. Yeah, we took care of that, totally scrapped. No problems there. All right, and not a whole lot of experience, but that's okay. Okay, where's the for sale sign person? There we go. Yep, okay, let's get rid of Hyper Beam. Yep, sounds good. All right, no problem, very good. All right, now, where's that uh, museum there? I again, I probably could have done all this in a different order, but eh. I just do things as they come to me, their BCS universe. I'm still getting through everything that I want to get through. Aha, here we go. Yes, talk to this person here. Oh, well, that's not good. Uh, yeah, sure, I'd love to. $3 per person. Man, that seems kind of pricey for advancing the game. Oh, well. Hmm. Mr. Spoon from the Foresight Museum. Hmm. Interesting. Remember that. That's a that's a big clue, and we're definitely going to be uh, checking that out. Toten Carmen, kind of a variation on Toten Common. Pencil box. Oh, that's funny. Ah, Ram Raisin the Fourths. I believe. Uh, I think this is Ram Raisins the Thirds. Yeah. So. Keep investigating here. The fifth training pot. <laughs> so we had, they even had potties in those days. Hey, a lunchbox. Cool. What? Wait a minute. Is Pokey around here? Man, I want to kick that guy's ass. Oh. Ah, see, if you tried to come up here, uh, you know, you could say you could bribe him with a little bit of a gem. So yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this. And no, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> so either way, um, so either way, if you say yes or no, you still get access to the room, so I think that's kind of funny. All right. I really am. What? Wait a minute. All right, what's this good? What? Those things are moving. And now it's time for a boss battle against the Shattered Man. What What the hell has this guy been hiding in this room? This is kind of creepy. Okay. Uh, well, let's go ahead and... Let's see. Uh, do you have anything you can use here? No, let's just use... Well, I wonder if the slime generator works. I think it might. And then we'll try to freeze. We, want, we definitely want to try and get this guy to his body to solidify because he has some really powerful attacks. There we go. Perfect. That's fine. Good. Excellent. 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 Yeah, and Jeff and who's going to want to do that? Yeah. Got him. 
Ooh, lots of experience. I like it. And Pooh's, yeah, Pooh has to catch up on some levels, so we've seen this before. Where, uh, you know, an enemy, where, uh... Ooh, good, he can now steal HP or MP from the enemies. Good. Well, that worked so well the first time, let's try it again. I'll see if I can show up, demonstrate some of this guy's attacks. Um, well, actually, I don't, I'm hoping I don't get to, but in the odd case that this doesn't work out, then I do want to. Good, excellent. Yeah, because he can actually hit, hit about 300 points of damage on you, uh, if you're not careful. Uh, let's use the slime jitter one more time. And poo attack. Okay, never mind, got it. So that's how you deal with those guys. No problems there. Yeah, and I also, I'm going to get a bunch of levels, so I want to do it this way so I can show you. Ooh, excellent. The next level of fire. I like it. And Pooh should get some levels here. Let's see if he learns any spells or anything like that. Nope, guess not. To fight against the evaders, we built this pyramid fortress. Oh, the gods of Scarabba. So now we definitely have to go there. Oh, no. We have to try and stop those invaders. The Lost Underworld. The Deep Darkness. Hmm, and actually the Deep Darkness is an interesting area. Ah, and remember that. Star 2345. Remember that. Wait. Oh, Pooh's got a light bulb. Okay, well let's go ahead and head over to Scaraba then. But before we do that... Oh, that's cool. Now, if we're ever not sure what we're doing, uh, we can just look at the hieroglyph copy and figure out what we need to do next. So that's pretty cool. All right, and these people all say the same thing, so let's just go ahead and get out of here. Huh? The phone's ringing. Where's the attendant to answer it? Hello? I guess she's on a coffee break or something. Uh, sure, it is now. Oh, okay. Whoa, really? <laughs> ah, ah, I see Mr. Fork and Mr. Spoon. You see what they did there? <laughs> this is awesome. All right, sounds good. Well, now we have to head over to Foresight and find out what's going on there. Or do we go to Scaraba next? Whatever should we do? Well, we have two choices on what to do next. We could either go to Scaraba, or we could go visit the Foresight Museum. What in the world are we going to do? You're going to have to wait till next time to find out. Until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.